What's up beautiful creators and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the last video of the year and so I wanted to leave you all with something fun and so of course I had to do another tutorial for y'all so y'all can get y'all editing game together going into the new year. And so I'm going to show you all how I turn this into this. Let's get into it. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video that doesn't, it's not hard at all. And it's just showing you all how to take your old footage, reuse it, or how to take new footage that, you know, it's just a simple clip and turn it into something that's just more Instagrammable, TikTokable, YouTubeable, fun and energetic. And with these steps, you can pretty much do anything that you want in Premiere using just the Essential Graphics panel and a little bit more. So we have this, so the first thing that you want to do before you go in your essential graphics panel is we're going to scale it down. Remember we saw it in the center. So we're gonna go and we're scale it down to probably about 30. So it's dead in the center, but it's a lot smaller for us to create the border. Now I learned this and was so excited when I learned this because I've been trying to figure out how to do an outline for a rectangle and premiere for the longest. And so what you wanna do is you wanna go over to Essential Graphics, edit, new layer, rectangle. That's gonna create originally this rectangle look. Now this is good because a lot of times back in the day before Essential Graphics, you will use color mat or anything like that to create your backdrop, um, any background that you needed, but now you can just do this and it creates a background. Again, you can do rectangle, ellipse, whatever it is that you want. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into stroke because we want it to be an outline of the rectangle because we want it to outline as in create like more of a photo frame in a sense. So I changed my stroke width to five. I feel like that's always like a good one. If you go 10, it can be a little too thick. So I like five, I think that's like a good middle ground. So what we're going to do is cut that and then we have it. So. Now what we want to do after you go and you create your rectangle outline is go to uniform scale. We're gonna turn that off because we need it to be, the vertical is such a non-uniform dimension. And so we're going to scale the height and the width separately. So first we'll stick with the height and then we'll go with the width. And then we're gonna go in the position and we're gonna move it over because the goal is kind of to create like this, uh, have the photo or video pop out from it. So that's the goal. So now, as you can see, it kind of creates like this 2D dimensional, 3D dimensional, whatever you want to call it, type of thing makes the photo pop out, but you can actually see the border is still in the photo. So what we're going to do is drag the graphic below the clip. So now you actually see the video pop from that background. And let me just go and change the width, extend the width just a tad bit more. There we go. So anytime you're on YouTube and you see people with, you know, the photo and they just have a backdrop or anything like that, like this is something that you can do to, if you shoot on film and you just want your photo to pop, like just adding something like this or just adding a background and making it pop, like this is something that you can do. So you can even stop here. This already looks really, really cool. And it looks like something that you will use an app for in order to like get your Instagram stories to look in unison and you know, in sync and aesthetically pleasing. A lot of people use all of these different apps to do that and you just did it in Premiere. Now, the next thing that we want to do is bring that graphic track to two and duplicate the actual clip and bring it to track one. We're going to scale it back up to 50. So now you see the duplicated track of, or the duplicated clip under both of what we just created. And it kind of looks like this. And if you wanted to, you can keep it here. But a lot of people have been doing this effect. It's gotten really popular. So what we're gonna do is add a little extra to it. And so we're going to go into, uh, let's just go into the effects control. So let's see. We're gonna go into effects and I'm just gonna bring this over here so it's all in the same place. Now, what we wanna do is type in replicate. Now, this is my favorite, 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 one of my favorite effects to use in Premiere. Um, I use it a lot for client work, social influencer client work. Um, 
And as you can see, the count starts at two. Now we're gonna change it to four. Now this is a cool effect to also use as a transition. There's been times when maybe I started at 16 and I went down to two and then to one. There's been times where I started at two and I went to 16. Like you can actually do a lot once you keyframe this, but because the clip is so quick, we're not gonna keyframe. So as you can see, we put it on four. So there's four columns, four layers, four rows, whatever. And it looks like it can be too much when you keep it here. Although if they like it, I love it. But what I want to do is because I still like simplicity a little. I like to mix, you know, simplicity with, you know, some good things happening. So I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 25, you know, or maybe let's just do 20. Because with there now, it's kind of still a background. It's not necessarily in your face. It's just kind of some texture that's happening in the background. But she still pops her face. What we're actually looking at, which is her fashion, her earrings, that still pops and it's not too much going on, which I like and I prefer. And because you have to learn who your client is, I think she would prefer this too over the... Um, noisy background so we're almost done already which is cool um so we're gonna go into essential graphics again and we are in our brows now one thing i always tell my clients or people who take my class my editing class is that there are days where i literally just go on adobe stock i type in free i start off with free first and I just scroll through Adobe Stock and see what effects I like. And I literally just download them into my templates so that whenever I do need to edit something, I literally have a whole folder of things that I know that I can use. And as you can see, I have the directional repeater. These are my favorite too. So we're going to bring that on top of everything we just created. Get rid of the excess. And as you can see, it has a background the goal is to get rid of this background and have it just kind of play on top. So the first thing that we're going to do is go back into our central graphics panel. Uh, let's just kind of scoot this over just a little. And we're going to go to background and then we're going to get rid of it. <laughs> so we changed the opacity background and we just pretty much got rid of it. So now you kind of see just the effect, which is what we want. But what we want to do is we don't want the text to be over her face. So I'm going to go into position and bring it down. Now, as you can see, this repeat, this red box shows up and it's going to say repeater text. You can do with or without that. Um, and again, you can extend this however long you want. I just kind of extended it to how long the actual clip was. The clip is longer, but for the sake of this tutorial, I made it short. So now you can literally put whatever text that you want. So if you want to put their name and you want to put um melissa fredericks and then whatever her title is in the box uh you can pretty much change the color change the text but what i'm going to do is i'm not going to put the subtext so i'm not going to put like what her title is in that which i i could so if i wanted to i could put fashion influencer and then in the main text i could put uh melissa and then fredericks and then when you see it and we'll extend it, it'll kind of be something like, let's, let's just extend the full thing. It'll kind of just be something like this, which is again, still cool, you know, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just get rid of the subtext altogether and then just put fashion influencer in the main text. Too much going on sometimes with text. And as you can see, you see this box still for the subtext. So what you want to do with that is you want to go into style controls, subtext colors, opacity text box, and get rid of that box. So now this is what you originally saw. This, let's uh, render. Did you know you got to render in Premiere? You got to render in Premiere. <laughs> So now this is what you see. This is the after. This is the fun content that everybody is liking now. But to me, you cannot go wrong with just having the simple, you know, I'm simple sometimes. I like simplicity. So both of these work. Neither one is right. Neither one is wrong. They both have their usage. Um, this could be for commercials. With commercials, you might not want to do a lot. But if you're doing any kind of Facebook marketing or any ads, maybe this might grab people's attention a little bit more. So 
Again, this is just like if you want to reuse old content or if you have iPhone content and you want to find a way to beef it up or just content from any camera or if you know you just want to do something and play around with things and add graphics and this is this was the tutorial for you all and the reason why I did it is because again a lot of people have been taking my class have been asking me how can I just you know do more fun stuff with my footage. Thank y'all so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it hopefully it helped you all and if it did make sure you all hit that like button share this with your friends and make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel if you still like this tutorial type content with editing and learning new tricks definitely let me know and i'll make sure that every now and then i come with another one of these type of videos i thank everyone who has supported me thus far it has not been easy but it has been rewarding so i appreciate and i love y'all all and see you all in the next year have a blessed day